Heart rate is one of the best indicators of fitness and monitoring it can allow you to train to your maximum potential. If you want to do specific aerobic or anaerobic training, a heart rate monitor will allow you to exert the correct effort and keep you in the right training zone. For instance, if you want to train aerobically, a heart rate monitor will allow you to stay within the aerobic zone, which is typically 70 to 80% of your maximum heart rate. If you're looking to build on anaerobic fitness, which will improve your sprinting speeds and durations, then you're going to need to push into the anaerobic zone, which is around 80 to 90% of your max heart rate. Understanding heart rate and sports performance is an actual science, so it's a good idea to do some research before you buy, but there's plenty of information out there. A heart rate monitor consists of two parts, a sensor and a head unit or computer. The sensor is usually worn next to the skin and is usually part of a strap worn around the chest. This device sends biometric data to a head unit via a wireless protocol, which we'll explain in more detail later. Depending on which head unit you have, you'll be able to train based on real-time heart rate feedback or analyze your performance after the session using a computer. There are different wireless protocols that allow you to connect heart rate straps to your chosen device. The most common, and probably the best, is Ant Plus. You'll also see some Bluetooth devices and others from companies like Polaris who offer their own proprietary system. Both Ant Plus and Bluetooth connections are standards and so will pair with devices that feature compatibility with either protocol. Ant Plus is the most popular standard for exercise equipment and is widely supported by companies like Garmin due to its low power usage and ability to connect to multiple sensors simultaneously. If you're on a tight budget, then you may want to consider a Bluetooth-based monitor, as this will be compatible with a smartphone that you probably already own. There are three main options when it comes to choosing a head unit. A dedicated cycling computer, a watch, or a smartphone app. As runners were early adopters of heart rate-based training, many fitness watches will feature heart rate data these can be had for as little as £25 or $40. The upside is the convenience of a watch, plus the obvious cross-training potential should you want to run with it. But on the downside, beyond speed and distance, you probably won't get any cycling-specific biometrics. The more inexpensive fitness watches aren't computer compatible, so your analysis can be quite limited. But an increasing number of mid-range watches are, so check before you buy. Cycling computers that come with heart rate straps start at around £60 or US$100. dollars. With a cycling computer, you can have a dedicated device on your handlebars that offers a wealth of bike-specific data, such as distance, speed, time, cadence and more. Most mid-range models will have some form of USB connection. So you can upload the training data to Garmin Connect, Strava, Training Peaks or the site of your choice. Cycling computers with heart rate straps usually have a range of dedicated heart rate features, such as adjustable heart rate zones and alarms for going out of the target zone. Some of the more advanced units even allow you to program or download heart rate-based workouts, or even upload training plans onto the computer. Most cycle-specific computers will be enabled with the Ant Plus wireless protocol. Finally, for those not wanting to fork out for a bike computer, when you already have more processing power than the Apollo Moon missions in your pocket, there's a smartphone option. You're obviously going to need an app for recording your data, but there's a whole host available, including Strava, MapMyRide, Wahoo, and Endomondo. Oh, and they all have free versions, which will do pretty much everything you want them to. Most smartphones only have a Bluetooth connection, so this means you'll need to find a specific monitor strap with Bluetooth technology. However, some mobiles are becoming available with an Ant Plus connection, and there are wireless dongles available for many others. The main problem with a smartphone is battery life, so they might not be such a good idea if you're doing longer sessions, riding somewhere you might need to call in an air ambulance, or scenic enough to require regular Instagram uploads. Heart rate monitors are essential for anyone serious about training, and in most cases are available bundled with other useful data, so it's well worth the investment. Given the choice, we'd pick a dedicated bike computer and Ant Plus strap. But there are cheaper options on the market if you just want a taster. There's more of the same coming soon. 
so don't forget to click subscribe. And let us know what you think of the series so far in the comments section below.